guys. Uh, ladies, congratulations on the film. I have to say this was uh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant, funny, thrill ride of a, of a movie. Two hours of just craziness. I love it. It yeah. was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I do love about these directors is they do go for their gore, do go for their splatter, and it's practical and realistic. How is it kind of dealing with that? Because I can imagine you have to do your performance and you want to act, but also you know the blood is coming. So how do you kind of navigate that that space and the challenge of, of being scared, if you like? It's nerve wracking when you're doing those scenes where you know you're going to get splattered with blood. <laughs> like, I know Alicia and I were both like, we only have one chance to get this right because then the reset is, you know, going to waste a lot of time. Uh -huh. So you're trying not to not to telegraph it. You're trying not to like project and like close your eyes beforehand. <laughs> And it's like nerve wracking, but it's so fun. And it became like a show. Every time that we were using a blood cannon on set, the entire, <laughs> the entire crew was like, Waiting you around. know, like just <laughs> thrilled. And it was super fun. It was, uh, I love being covered in blood. I think Alicia fell in love with being covered in blood too. We just got so used to it yeah. that it was like the look, you know, like every day we would just get sprayed down. <laughs> um, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, Alicia, I wanted to ask you, I mean, you've done, obviously did Matilda, but one of the things that struck me about this is you have to wear the teeth. And it reminded me of back in the day when Jim Carrey did the mask, he had to learn how to talk again with these teeth in. How long did it take you to kind of get used to them and, and how much of a pain were they? Or did you enjoy actually having to, having to wear them? It definitely took a bit of getting used to. I mean, I went and I got scanned and I got a mold of my teeth. And then when I seen them, they were like gum shields that you wear like when you're playing football so you like slip them in like retainers and at the start they felt really weird as like they were pointy like all around my mouth and it felt really weird having them on and I also had to get used to sometimes I felt like I had a lisp and I asked you guys does it sound like I have a lisp um, so it definitely took a while to get used to them and then I also had stunt teeth for the fight sequences or when I was flying in case like I wha whacked my mouth the wrong way and they were like stuck into me and the stunt teeth were even bigger than the normal teeth they, they took a majority of my mouth and they I luckily I didn't have to do a lot of speaking in them, but I did have to get used to speaking in my normal teeth. <laughs> yeah, there's a great, uh, great uh, scene in the film where you talk about kind of modern day culture and vampires and all these vampires that we've had in the last twenty years. Do you guys have a have a have a favorite? Is there someone, whether it's Robert Pattinson or a classic kind of vampire iteration that you that you've kind of fallen in love with over the over the years? Um, I mean, I always say this, but like. I don't, and I don't even know who the actor is, but like he played Dracula in Van Helsing and he was just so good in it. Um, I don't know, that was, Van Helsing was like one of my favorite movies growing up. I used to watch it every day. Literally when I was, when I was probably 15, I would get home and I would pop in the DVD <laughs> and I would just, it would just be on in my room as I did homework and I just was obsessed with that movie. So I really love that also because of the way that the vampire mouth would like elongate and it was just so like really cool yeah what about you? is this are we talking about the Hugh Jackman one yes Hugh Jackman and you see, there you, go. you see I think you've pitched a sequel there right surely Hugh wants to come back as Van Helsing and and, and come and do I something mean, fun I would, would be a dream. Like that would be actually the the dream role for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just very quickly, Alicia, you've obviously didn't you've done dancing, you've done wicked little letters with Olivia Cohen. Now you've done this. Which of the three has been your your kind of your favorite so far? Um, I don't know which one has been my favorite. I mean, all three have been completely different to each other, and all three characters have been so different, and all three have been such amazing experiences and it's all been very new to me but getting having a good experience makes me want to do more and it gives me that excitement and that buzz to keep going and keep doing what I love to do so getting to be surrounded by incredible actors that I go home and I definitely pinch myself that I worked with them or sat here with Melissa doing interviews and um, I mean I can't believe in myself but all three experiences have been amazing and I don't know which one my favorite you can pick a favorite you can pick a favorite it's okay I think Abigail is her favorite because we're here. You Maybe because we're here. <laughs> All I will say is that monologue in the lift, 
that's that's it that's that, that's the best bit i have to say that's brilliant uh, ladies thank you so so much for your time really enjoyed the film thanks for your time thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> hey that's what they all say hey you guys hey you guys